Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been a little um, missing in action, if you will. Um, this month has been like one of the worst months ever. Um, not like that, um, not like what you would think. Just I have a lot of issues going on right now with um, work right now. Um, that's probably the main issue. Um, so it's kind of sucking right now because it's a difficult situation. So anyway, <laughs> moving on, I thought I would do a fun little video of what I have bought over the past couple weeks because it makes me happy so I figured a fun haul would make you happy. Um, so I will just start with a couple things and I'll tell you where I got each thing. Um, there's a couple things, I mean some stuff I didn't get, some stuff just still makes me happy during the day. <laughs> so I will show them to you. Okay, so one thing that I did get, I went to Target and TJ Maxx, so this is where that stuff's going to be from. Um, the first thing that I got, and this is at Target, it's the Soap and Glory. It is called Pillow Plump, and it is XXL for Big Lush Lips. The back looks like this, and I got clear because, I don't know, I don't really like to wear lipstick in the summer unless I'm like going out or doing something fun or whatever. I don't know, I'm just not really, like I love makeup and I love playing with it, but there's so many occasions where I'm just like, why do I want to do all this extra fucking makeup? Like it's summertime, I'm getting hot, this is the time I like to go fishing, hiking, camping. Um, so I don't really want all this makeup on my face to just wash off when I get sweaty or like crease or this and that. Like I don't have time for that. I have more things that I would like to do with my day. Anyway, so um, this is what the tube looks like and I have been using it for a couple of days. Um, it says sexy mother pucker on the back and <laughs> I got the color clairvoyant it was what it's called and it was $11.99 at Target um, basically when I put this on my lips and this is what the applicator looks like it's plastic it's not like that furry doe foot and I I don't really like that because I feel like it causes bacteria and you could just wipe this with like an alcohol pad anyway when you put this on your lips it kind of does like a tingling sensation I kind of compare it to getting a very 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 mild tattoo on your lips because I know what a tattoo feels like and it's like a stingy burny feel I'm not trying to scare you it's not it's not horrible you know it, it's plumping your lips so it's obviously gonna tingle or sting or do some things but um when you put it on just like some comes out of the tube like this I think that's focusing is it I'm trying but you just put it on like so and it's just shiny that's it really it's nothing special I guess um okay so the next things that I did get I went to TJ Maxx and I got, I've been using this too plus I had like a really bad sunburn yesterday I don't know if the camera will pick it up because like the lighting's kind of um cloudy today <laughs> but like look at that but I was spraying this on it because I don't have any aloe in the house or I didn't want any lotion to like burn me. But it's um, it's by Pearlescence and it's rose water hydrating face mist and it's 8 fluid ounces. So I did get this at TJ Maxx and it just says on the back, you know, refreshing aromatic mist spritz anytime. Um, it's good for when your skin is dehydrated, which mine was. It is not tested on animals, which I'm really big on right now. Um, not right now. I have always been, but a little bit more um, cautious about what I've been buying because we need to help the environment and we can't test on animals anymore. It's just not okay. Like, I just think of my cats and I'm like, no, my poor babies. Um, anyway, so it just says it can be used, you know, before makeup, after makeup throughout the day, anything. So it's like a just a misting water. And I really like the jar that it was in, which was a plus. And this was like $5.99 or $3.99. So that's that. And then I forgot to use this because I've been having stuff in this little bag so you guys could take a look at it. Um, the next thing I got, this was at Target. I'm sure they have it other places, but it's called Avatara. And it's a chill out face mask. 
and it's for stressed skin, which I need because I have been very stressed out lately um, between work and getting ready to move again. So that's this. It's like the little Jason mask, which we all know about. <laughs> Um, what I liked about this, it had something in it that I thought was really interesting. Of course, now I cannot find it. Yep. I don't remember. It just has aloe in it, which is very good for your skin as well. Alright, and then the next thing I got, this was also at TJ Maxx. And it, I thought it was interesting because I've never seen something like this. Well, I have, but not like this, this. Um, it is a beauty blender and it's by Live Green and it has in it, you can see that it says right here, infused with vitamin C, right there. And I thought that was really interesting because I haven't used a beauty blender that's been infused with anything before. Um, and it's also not tested on animals, which I do like. So, and I actually thought it was scented at first, like lemon. Ugh. I, sorry about that. I thought it was scented like lemons, but it isn't. Um, and it's just latex and squishy like this. It's a little more dense than the Beauty Blender. I'll have to let you know how this is because I feel the Beauty Blender kind of sucks up your makeup. That's just my opinion. I've found others that have been better and I don't have to pay $20. This was like $4. And it's latex free if anyone wants to know. Live green. Um, and then the next thing that I did get that I've been using this month is the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour foundation. Um, it's the infallible pro glow and it does have sunscreen in it. It's SPF 15, which most is now. Um, it says radiant finish, normal to dry skin hydrating. And I am in the color 203 nude beige right up there. Hopefully that is focusing so you can see. But uh, I, I really, really like this one and the finish that it gives on your skin. It says, Lasting Glow Foundation, never dull, never greasy, which I totally agree with because I have another one. I think it's the Maybelline Matte Foundation, and it creases, like, all in my nose. Like, that's where I get oily. Um, but this I have been wearing, and I can tell you it's probably one of the best foundations I have used so far in my life and I have used anything from expensive brands to the cheapest brands. Um, you do have to shake this though and it isn't that cheap. It's like, I mean it's like, I feel like it's $13. I mean which is cheaper but sometimes it's not because considering the amount that you get in here it isn't, but it does last. It doesn't peel off or anything. Um, I do have it on right now, I don't know if I said that, but it says finish is radiant, wear up to 24 hours, coverage is medium, texture is airtight. I agree with everything that it says, it does everything it says. Okay, so the next thing, I'm going to angle you so you can see. So I did get, let's go down here, down, down, down. go here okay so I got these gym shark pants and they are the I think they're the flex leggings I can't remember but they don't have any like seam like the other ones that I have that have like panels I don't know what all of them are called I really don't care to be honest but I do really like these compared to most of them that they do have and they are cropped so you can see that they're cropped yeah, and they do not have the vagina thing, the baggy vag. I did rip mine. I don't know if you could see that. See that there? I ripped them because I pull them up like this, and they ripped. So they're not that great of quality. Um, they are, like, berry colored here, and then they're gray. And they do have on the inside, like, this stick material. I don't know if you could see that shine but it's like a sticky kind of material so it sticks up here and I like it because I put my phone right here and it stays but yeah these are the Gymshark leggings they are not see-through if you want to do like a squat <laughs> so those are that and then I also got these I got Converse 
at TJ Maxx. Sorry, that's my phone. And then, yes, it's Gizmo. Um, and I thought they were a really interesting color. Like, they're not that baby pink. They're like a salmon-y orange pink in person. I don't know if the camera is actually picking that up. But I gotta say six in the low tops. The reason I say that is because I did show another video on Converse high tops and I got a size 7. So for some reason their sizing is a little bit different on the low tops compared to the high tops. But yeah, these are what I got and I'm really happy with them because I like to wear them at the gym for like day. Um, being that they have a sturdy bottom, here are my other ones. My other high tops that I had made um, with my name on the back. They are the Joker from the Suicide Squad and these are in a size 7. Ooh, and I do really like these a lot. <laughs> so that's what I have there. And then a couple other things I did want to show you guys just to help your lives, I guess, a little bit better. Um, so in the summer, I usually get really dry on my legs. So, <laughs> so I use the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer. And this is the only one I get out of the Vaseline brand. It's like a spray. Um, because the other one, there's like a cocoa butter one, and then there's a green one that's like an aloe, and the cocoa butter one's brown. But I, t I like this one because I really like the smell of it. But it makes your skin... It's basically a primer for your skin. That's how soft your skin feels after it. Like it fills in all the dry shit, and your legs are like smooth. Um, <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Um, and then I picked up something from the dispensary. Oh, it's um, it's called 360X Transdermal Cream, and it look the container looks like this. Oh my God! Someone is trying to get a hold of me. I am so sorry. Um, so you don't eat this. You obviously just rub it on the areas where you have pain, um, and it does work. It's very soothing. Um, it has 13.5 milligrams of THC in it. This is what it looks like. It's very, like, it won't come out. It's very thick. This smells moderate. I mean, it's not bothersome. It smells like a leaf. Is that what it is? Pretty much. Um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to show you that's interesting, except maybe this. This is kind of cool. Um... What is this called again? Oh my god. I totally just had a moment. Okay, you guys will know what this is called, but I think it's so cool. Um, obviously, you put the oil in here. It's a rig. That's what it's called. It's like a small portable rig. So you put the oil inside. Obviously, you heat up the internal piece and put. you slide the glass on top. And then this is where you would suck the oil. <laughs> but I just thought it was cute because I really like Starbucks. And it says Starbucks Dabuccino with the little kind of Starbucks logo. Yeah. It's very cute. That's it. That's all my interesting stuff that I had to show you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this mini little uh, haul. Because I do like talking to you guys and I do miss you guys. But just understand I have a lot of stuff going on so I'm trying to get this video out and live life at the same time but yeah so I will see you guys in my next video I don't know what it'll be about you could give me suggestions if you'd like um, I was gonna do um, colitis or um, Crohn's disease and colitis and dealing with stress at work next so let me know all right I will see you guys in my next video hope you enjoyed bye